Hello, welcome back to Calvary's Corner. This is Brother Derek. And no, I do not have only one shirt. I am doing these back to back. Miss Melissa's like, I need Calvary's Corner. So if you see seven of these with me having all the same shirt on, you know, well, look, the sun is even coming up a little more. So I'm in the same spot. How many of you all love Thanksgiving? I love Thanksgiving. Why? Because it's a holiday that we celebrate being thankful and we eat a lot of good food. It just doesn't get better than that. Well, my Calvary's Corner message today is going to be about thankfulness. I mean, really about thankfulness. I'm going to read a couple of scriptures to you. Uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, 5.18, in everything give thanks, for it is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything God says, give thanks, because it's the will of Christ Jesus uh, concerning you. You know, um, I tell a story. Well, we were out passing out lunches or uh, sack lunches to the homeless. We've done this a couple of times. Uh, and one time we were near this gas station and someone drove up and dropped a box full of McDonald's cheeseburgers. And it was like, like I thought it was, uh, I didn't know if it was a shooting or what, but people started running from everywhere to grab these cheeseburgers. <laughs> Scared me to death. Um, uh, but it made me think of another time a guy had, um, that I, that ran across, he had one, saw a homeless man and he took him into a McDonald's and he said, Hey, I'm going to buy you 10 hamburgers. And the guy looked at him and said, Hey, can we make those cheeseburgers? And, um, the guy said, yeah, he bought the cheeseburgers, but he felt like, man, you unthankful, you know, no good, such and such. Here I am, you know, taking time and my money to buy something for you and you're going to ask for an upgrade um, and um, how that made him feel. And then he got convicted because he said, you know what, that's exactly what we do to God. You know, God says right now, my will for you is to have a hamburger. And, um, you know, we complain, you know what, God, I want, I want, I want cheeseburgers right now. I, that's, I don't want a hamburger. I want cheeseburgers. And that's the mentality, you know, we have, I have, um, you know, all my adult life, I've been in sales or, um, uh, I've been self-employed and I like to joke, tell, tell people that either I'm going to die rich or bankrupt <laughs> because it's, I don't know if I just haven't figured it out yet, or it's just God's plan for my life. But you know, there's ups and downs and you know, sometimes I'm really, really up and sometimes I'm really, really down. And that's been my adult life. Like, but God has provided for me each and every single time I have been, I, you know, I've been blessed. And what I, if I had to paint the picture myself, would I say, I want all these different situations and scenarios to happen? No, but I can see that how God has used me in every um, situation that I've been in to be a blessing to other people. And I have to thank God for that. Um, it, it's, you know, in our lives, and I was telling the kids this yesterday, we're greedy. You know, most of us, we want, we want, we want, we want. And especially as kids, you know, they don't generally grow up saying, what can I do to serve the Lord? How can I grow up to be an effective Christian? They're thinking about, I want this car. I want my husband or wife to be this. I want to live in this house. I want to do this. I want to do that. And so, you know, as a result, they're not focused on the things of God because they are focused on the cheeseburgers. All right. Um, we have to have a spirit of thankfulness in everything that we have. Um, Jesus Christ died for us. And, you know, I try to say that it's as much as I can uh, in these Calvary's corners, because that's the most important thing. And he gave it all. He gave it all. And if in his will for your life, he wants you to 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 sit back because you know what? God knows if I give them cheeseburgers. They'll stop paying attention to everybody else. If I continue to give them everything that they want, they'll stop um, living for me and my will. See, we don't believe that. We think, oh, God, if you gave me everything, I'll be this great philanthropist. And, you know, I'll be taking care of this and taking care of that. Well, you're better than me because if God made me a billionaire, it's about a lot of people I just probably would stop speaking to. I'm just, I'm just joking. Um, but what I'm saying is, 
minutes. <laughs> See, I can't delete that. I hate when I say stuff like that. It's like, I can't start all over. I'm five minutes into this thing. So you all just have to know that, you know, I'm a bit of a loser. But um, in all honesty, if God gave us everything that we wanted, will we really serve him? And I praise God and his wisdom. He knows what we can handle. God knows what, what um, not only as far as so when the Bible talks about he won't give you any more than you can bear, but give you a way to get out of it. Well, he, I think he does that with the good things that he does, gives to us too. He doesn't give us any more than we can handle uh, and be who we need to be for him. I've seen over and over again where, you know, people, uh, a financial windfall comes or a good scenario happens to them. Uh, and a lot of times it comes in forms of bad relationships uh, that people require. I want to, I want that person. I want that man or woman for me. I want that, you know, that perfect mate. And that perfect mate is a perfect match as far as what God would have. And what happens, they end up pull, getting pulled out of church. And I've seen it happen to men and women. You know, I've seen people set up to become Christian school teachers and, and um, their relationship with their new uh, spouses. Well, well, we don't want to go that route. We're not going to make enough money doing that. Um, or, or, you know, that's not the best use of your talent and things like that. So, and this is a person that this person desired and craved to be with. You know, if, if you, if you're craving a relationship with somebody, the first thing you should crave is that that person loves God. Because if you get in a relationship with somebody that doesn't, your heart, like King Solomon can get pulled away. You know, it's just the truth. And, you know, you um, should want to give that spouse, uh, that new person that you're in a relationship with the best that you have to offer. Um, you know, my sister said something to me years ago. It's funny. She said and had a, uh, 15, well, say a, a three minute conversation with a lady and a lady made a statement to her that I still repeat, um, uh, 10 years after my sister's gone to heaven. Um, she sat down with this woman at a, um, ladies conference and the lady said and she said to the lady i'm looking for a godly man i really want a godly man and that lady looked at her with all the sincerity in the world and said are you prepared to give that man a godly woman and she never thought about that before you know if she was saying you know i, I want cheeseburgers but you know if, if he gets an order of fries then you know whatever she just never thought about you know i want god to give me everything i want but am I prepared to give that person everything that they want? And uh, she said that changed her whole thought process about, um, you know, looking for a husband and a potential mate. Um, so without being too long winded, that's that's my story. We we, we need to be faithful. The crust of the, the crust the crust of the message is crux of the message is, um, if God doesn't want you to have cheeseburgers right now, eat the hamburger, enjoy it. Uh, and if you're a vegan, you know, too bad. Eat some fries. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great day.